Good afternoon, Virgos. Let's see what your past life wants you to know for July 12th to July 18th, 2018. But before we go there, Virgos, I got to give a huge shout out to Kiki's Doorway, Star Power Warriors, subscribers, okay? All right, Miss Williams, you blimmin' them, the 305 Goddess, Miss Wise, Miss Duell, Mr. Ibrahim, Miss Polar, Miss Hello Kit Girl for Life, Miss Armstrong, Miss Kimberly, Sacred Waspin, Nicole Matthew, Perry Esseri, Himani Das, Ain't This, Teresa Manair, Way Shower, Sylvia Candia, Mr. Aldana, Miss Saloon, Labil, Miss Ison, Mr. Magia, Miss Sean, Mr. Sims, Miss Cabby, Amanda Smith, Shirley, Galianis, Miss Rena Harris, Linda Mick, Mickey 0509, Miss Latori, Heaven Love Cat. Bernadette for the least and eyes of Capricorn. Hey guys, and all the viewers that that come into Kiki's doorway, thank you for watching this channel. It is an honor and a privilege to walk through the doors towards the Akashi Records with you. I learn while you're learning as well, I'm healing while you heal. I'm I'm living while you living. So without further ado, let's get to Virgos. All right. Let's see what your past life wants you to know, Mr. and Miss Virgos. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father. Ooh. You already know. Okay. <laughs> you already know. All right. Okay, Mr. and Ms. Virgos. What actions should Virgos take from July 12th? Woo. Okay. What actions should they take from July? <laughs> okay, Mr. and Ms. Virgos. You already know. you like, all right, let's cut all this out. We heard you talk, now we're going to get to business. All right. So let's see, your past life. Oh, wow. Transportation. Send me your location at... at. <laughs> I don't need nothing else but you. Nothing else but you. Send me your location at... Aha! Okay, so Mr. and Ms. Ms. Virgos, you know exactly from your communion, your life purpose, the journey that you want to take, now is the time to travel. Whether it be by train, whether it be by bus, by a ferry, like I was telling Mr. and Ms. Tauruses, you know exactly where you want to go and how you want to go about it. So now is the time to take root on that. So let's see what will be your actions when it comes to your transportation towards your life purpose, towards the relationships you want to have in your life in the now. Three of water, okay. So, Virgo, see, you're using three of water. That nurturing, protective, intuitive, cancer side of yourself, Virgos, because you have water element. Your opposite side is Pisces, but in this situation, while you're traveling, use your intuition. Know exactly the way you want to 
flow towards your life purpose, towards the lover that you are connected to, towards the job that resonates to you, towards that spiritual growth, towards your self-love. A celebration, oh, a celebration, oh, a celebration, yeah, a wedding, graduation. Let me start. <laughs> a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or a birth announcement, the need to have more fun. So, from, Jul from July 4th to July 11th, you were definitely planting the seeds, Mr. and Ms. Virgos, on your life purpose, on the relationship that you want to have with others in the most healthiest way. Now that you planted those seeds, it's time to have fun, baby. It's time to let loose, cut loose, okay? Get on that train, on that plane. The transportation that you would need to get there. Have fun because you graduated. You know exactly, you have grown so much, Ms. And Ms. Ms. Virgos. You have grown so much. And it shows in your action, it shows in your intuition. So now that you are well balanced in your own way of perfection, now it's time to cut loose and have fun. So what's the next action you're going to take from July 12th to the July 18th? Wow, three of air, three, three, six. See, you got your Virgo in there. You got your scales, baby. You got your scales, baby. Okay, three of air. Now, yes, this can be a little sad. However, if you use your intuition, remember, you're well balanced. If you use your intuition and you fill out exactly where you're going to go, it's like, you know how when you went to school, your first day of school, what did you do the day before? Or probably a couple of days before, or a week before, you set out your clothes, right? You knew exactly what day, what color clothes, what kind of top and pants, shoes, all that, that you was going to wear, even how your hairstyle was going to be. Take that same foundation when it comes to something you really like and use it towards your travels okay yes great sadness take time to heal so if you witness a celebration or you graduated like all things that means that you are maturing you are elevating so do not be sad of it rejoice Take time to heal. That time to heal would be that time to have fun. We learn when you're traveling, why you want to travel, where you're going, and why do you want to go there. Is it to have fun? Is it to, to set your soul, your mind, heart at ease and free? Because when you heal then the need to forgive yourself and others can take place. So, yes, you had to, you did find your life purpose. You know exactly what you want to do. You know exactly the relationships you want to have with people. Any type of relationships, you know exactly how you want to go about doing it. So much so that when you celebrate and graduate it, yes, it's like anything when we go to the next level, it causes some sadness at times because it's like, what now? What is the next destination? What is the next step? But do not worry because it's leading you. If you notice, you have the masculine, feminine, and your soul. You have the childlike in you. So now that you have healed the masculine, feminine, and child of yourself, you can forgive others. And the way that you are showing that is by using transportation to travel to the ones that you care about, that you want to forgive, and cut loose. Like, one way 
if you notice when when you have an after party or when after graduation you talk to your friends or even some of your teachers and you find out that your teachers are like, look, I always believed in you. I knew you was going to go places. I just needed to push you. And then you get to actually forgive the ones, your teachers or uh, co-workers or friends or loved ones that you thought did not have your back or did not believe in you. And if they didn't, now you understand why. So when you move on, you know the next destination, what you will take and what you will not take. What what are the things that you know naturally heal yourself? So when you are around others or the, around the people that did not believe in you, right? You can forgive them. In order to forgive others, you have to forgive yourself. Because sometimes we have people missing Ms. Ms. Virgos. Sometimes we have people in our lives that come in our lives to bless us with lessons. And sometimes the lessons is to show us how, in your case, how evenly yoked you are. Three of water and three of air. You've always been well emotionally balanced, well intuitively balanced. You've always been well communicative of your emotions and how you felt even at times if you did not feel but now that you have graduated and you moved up spiritually now you can look back on these things and say oh that's why I needed these people to be a part of this story every day we're playing a story playing out our story your story is rebirth you're now the Virgos you always wanted to be and have strived towards being. It's always been there. Sometimes we need people, places, and things to show us that. So now that you know thyself, Mrs. and Ms. Virgos, now travel out. Celebrate. Have fun. Heal. Love yourself again. And continue to love yourself if you never stopped. So until we meet again, I... And we will see you on the other side.